Okay, so now we're getting into the good stuff. Talking about area of triangles. Well, if you remember, when we found the area of a rectangle, our formula was base times height. But notice, if I cut this rectangle in half diagonally, I've created two triangles. So a triangle is half of a rectangle. Therefore, your form of finding area of a triangle is going to be one half base times height. Or area equals base times height divided by two. Because we know that half of something is the same as dividing by two. This is the way you're going to see your mathematics chart, but this way is the exact same thing. So looking at your first problem here, we have area equals base times height divided by two. I have three numbers. A 3, a 4, and a 5. But I know that my base and my height always make my right angle. So A equals 3 times 4 divided by 2. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 divided by 2. And my area is 6 inches squared. On this one, same thing. We have area equals base times height divided by two. Notice I have all these different numbers, but the only ones that matter are the ones that make my right angle. So I have a five and a three. So five times three divided by two. Well, five times three is 15. Half of 15 and area equals seven and a half centimeters squared. Let's do another one. Because notice, all of these are different shapes for your triangles. So again, we're gonna start with our formula. A equals base times height. I'm looking for the area, so I'm gonna plug in my base. In this case, is 10. My height is 4, and I'm going to take half of that. Now, here I took half of my total, but if I wanted to keep my numbers small, I can take half of one number. So I could say 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 10 five times. So my area is 20. It's just another way to solve the same thing. Okay, one last example is when I have the area and I need a missing side. Again, I'm going to start with my formula. Base times height divided by 2. But I have the area. Area is 24. The base is 6. The height, I don't know. And I'm going to divide by 2. Well, 6 divided by 2 is going to give me 3H. Well, if I have 3H and 24, I would now bo divide both sides by 3, and my height will be 8, and that's centimeters. Not squared, because it's not the area, it's one of the missing sides. So when working backwards, when you have the area, it's gonna have, you're going to have to be dividing.